episode of Create The Real You. If you are new to this channel, I would love you to subscribe, share and like this video. And in this video today, I am going to talk to you about people pleasing and how that basically helps somebody else's future and mostly keeps you from getting to yours. So one of the big things um, that I've found with many of the ladies that I've worked with is that they have a big problem around people pleasing. And I can honestly put my hand up and say that I was the card carrying people pleaser. And I want you to, um, if you're watching this, to to not feel bad about this because many, many women, particularly um, of my age, I'm 50, in my 50s and more, we have been taught to, to people please, is to not really put our needs first, um, particularly for those ladies out there who are mothers, mothers um, are nurturers and I think women in general are nurturers. So often we are very much taught to, number one, look after the, our immediate families and then what we do is we tend to carry over that into our lives, our creative lives and our business lives um, and our relationships. So we will often do what everybody else wants us to do and not what we want to do. Now, what happens then is that often, um, unless you're really aware of it, so the very first thing is to become conscious of your behavior and who's constantly asking you to do things that are taking up your time. And then the very second thing that you need to do and have a look at is when are you saying yes and you're excited and happy about it? And when are you saying yes and you feel resentment? Resentment is a wonderful indication that your yes is really a no. So that's the very first thing that you can start to be, start feeling and become aware of is that um, every time that you say yes to something, that you are giving away a portion of your life, your time. And your time is one of the most valuable resources that, that you have. Um, and when you give things time and you give things energy, you are giving them this extraordinary resource and something is moving forward. Now, what you want to do is make sure that that something is something that you have your heart and soul in. And that can be for somebody else, absolutely. But when you are feeling resentment, anger uh, around that, generally that means that you aren't um, doing it willingly. You don't want to do that. So first thing is to become really aware of your behave, behavior and where your time and energy is going. And then of course, um, once, you, once you become aware and you see that, wow, I'm doing all these things and what, what they're doing is stopping me from getting to my creativity or your projects or just getting clear on what you want or just relaxing, you know, because often people, when you are a people pleaser, you um, have got into a role in your family or in your relationship where people just constantly ask you to do things and they're used to doing that. So often they won't like to hear the word no. Um, so it becomes very clear in the beginning that you um, it's it, you can get a lot of resistance when you start to change your tune and say that you don't want to do certain things. So that can be the first thing to become aware of. But what I want you to do is to know that until you recognize um, where how the people pleasing is really showing up in your life and how it's taking away from your future and your goals and what you want to bring into your life, then you can't actually stop it. So you need to be aware first of your behavior. And then the first big tip is to start seeing where the most resentment is and they're the places that you need to start say no and start creating clear boundaries around those, those particular people or those particular incidents. So that's today's tip. I hope that has helped you. Um, it's really good fun to start taking, becoming aware of your own behavior and to see really how it's, um, it's affecting what you want in your life, your creativity. Um, and of course, remember after each of these sessions, go and do something creative, something gentle and beautiful or go and paint something amazing um, and just be in the present because in that, when you're in that present moment, you get lots of wonderful intuitive information. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next, next episode. Bye.